Thank you for joining our live stream. Feel free to like this video and leave a comment throughout. And be sure to follow CF and I on all social media platforms. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure to subscribe and tap the notification bell. For those watching on Facebook, make sure to like and follow our page and enable the notifications for live videos to stay connected with us. Thank you for joining us today. We are so excited to worship with you. My entire life I wanted to be a pastor, but with time in high school I ended up being drifted away from that and I fully focused myself on being a doctor. And right before I would start med school the Lord completely changed my heart and He pointed myself towards Him again and He showed me what He wanted for me. My heart started burning for CF and I and the Lord opened every single door for me to come. Well here at CF and I, God healed me. Uh, I, when I got here, I had asthma and I had to do all these medicines. But right now, I haven't taken any of those medicines in over two years and my lungs are perfect. So he fully healed me from that. But more than just this physical healing, he healed my heart. He showed me how my dependency should be strictly on him, not on the ministry of my parents or my ministry back in Brazil, but on him. The only thing that I need, I need Jesus more than even the blood within my veins. Uh, as soon as I stepped into it and I made the sacrifices that needed to be made, everything opened, so I'm glad for it. Hello everyone, thank you for joining our live stream. Feel free to like and comment throughout the duration of this video. Be sure to follow us on all of our social media platforms. If you're watching on Facebook today, be sure to like and follow our page and enable the notifications for our live stream so you will receive all of the updates. If you're watching on YouTube, be sure to subscribe to our page and click on the notification bell. Thank you for watching our live stream. We're so excited to worship with you. In an atmosphere of faith here at Christ for the Nations really has prepared me to pray prayers that I wouldn't have prayed before, to see God move in new ways, to see Him do new things, not just in my life, but to believe for the lives of others that God can meet them right where they're at. It became real to me how real God was and how intentional He was with my heart and wanting to encounter me outside of what I thought was normal parameters for Him to move.
outro, Pai. Nós somos um só corpo, uma família. Nós somos Teus filhos, Pai. Teus filhos, Teus filhos, Teus filhos, Pai. O Senhor Deus enviou Jesus Cristo para morrer por cada um de nós, Pai. E não há nada neste mundo que possa nos separar deste amor, Pai. Nada, 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 nada pode nos separar desse amor, Deus. Então que nós podemos ser unificados neste amor, Deus. No nome de Jesus, Deus, no nome de Jesus. If you just got here, I invite you to send that right now. We're going to exalt the name of Jesus. We're not going to exalt our anxiety. We're not going to exalt our fears. We're not going to exalt our depression. But we're going to exalt the name of Jesus. Oh, Jesus, we praise you right now, Lord. We praise you, Lord, because you are worthy. You are holy, Lord. You're the only one that deserves our praise, Lord. Lord, we sit in your table, Lord. We, we set our gaze on your eyes, Jesus, Lord. Señor Jesús, te damos gracias, Señor. En este momento, Señor, exaltamos tu nombre, Señor. Estamos aquí solo para verte a ti, Señor. Nos vaciamos. Señor de todo lo que tenemos y te vemos a ti Jesús Padre amado escogemos verte solo a ti Exaltamos tu rostro Señor Tú eres grande, tú eres digno Tú eres santo, santo, santo Estamos aquí para verte solo a ti Solo a ti, a ti te entregamos toda la gloria A ti te entregamos todo el honor Señor Te alabamos solo a ti Señor Tú eres el único importante en esta hora Señor En el nombre de Jesús te entregamos todo Padre Jesus, we give you praise and we give you glory and we give you honor for all that you are. Thank you for your sacrifice on the cross. Thank you for who you are. Thank you for what you've done. Would you now lift your hands and just worship Jesus and just thank him for who he is, for what he's done. We're so thankful, Jesus. You're so beautiful. Thank you for revealing yourself to us in a beautiful way, in a new way. Thank you for your mercies that are new every morning, every morning. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be worshipped. You're worthy to be adored. No one like you. Bless the Lord, all my soul. Let all that is within me bless his holy name. For a few seconds, would you just release some beautiful words to Jesus and just bless his heart this morning, just real quick. Jesus, we bless you today. We bless your heart. Bless the Lord, all my soul. Let all that is within me. Bless this beautiful, glorious, and wondrous name. We bless the name of Yahweh. We bless the name that's above every other name, Jesus. May your name be praised. May your name be worshipped. From the rising of the sun to the setting of the same. May the name of the Lord be praised, be praised. of your people we're so thankful that you would always honor us with your presence thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Lord can you just say with me praise Yahweh come on everyone just say praise Yahweh say that one more time praise Yahweh another time say praise
Yeah. 
Keep coming back again and again and again. We won't stop. Keep coming back and pursuing you. No matter what we fall into, no matter how many times we mess up, we keep running back to you because you have a grace that is sufficient. You'll never give up on us. Continue to grow in our hearts, Lord, a passion, a perseverance, a desperation for you to press on, to push through, to never give up to never give up. We know Satan, all he wants us to do is just give up one time, just quit and don't keep going, give up on you. But you never give up on us. Thank you for that, that we can every morning come and sing praises and worship you and ask for forgiveness of anything we've done. You will forgive us, you'll take us back in and as we go closer and closer to you, you will empower us to then come back at the enemy and show him who's boss. Show him that you have more authority and power. As we grow in communion with you, we will be filled with your power to destroy the works of the enemy and show so many more people all this that we've learned, that we've walked through. And that's what our hearts desire, Lord, to bring more and more people here or to go to them around the world and to bring you to them so we can teach them how to sit at your feet so that you can heal them and cleanse them and renew them and build them up to look like you and be in communion with you so they can be another person that goes out with your power to transform this world. And it'll continue to be a cycle that we'll repeat over and over because we started right here, pursuing you, not giving up, pressing in, giving you the first fruits of our days. We love it. We honor you. We worship you. Be with us today as we go about doing whatever we need to do that we always keep you in the front of our minds. Keep our minds on heavenly things, not on things of this world. In Jesus' name, amen. You guys are dismissed.